So today, I'm putting Minimax AI to the test against 11 labs in a text-to-speech showdown, and I want to see which one can create the most realistic voice. Let's find out who comes out on top. The good thing about Minimax text-to-speech AI is that it is currently free. I mean 100% free. When it comes to text-to-speech technology, some of the names that often come to mind are Eleven Labs, Speechify, Revoicer, Clipchamp's text-to-speech AI, Descript, Amazon Polly, and a whole lot more. Although these text-to-speech AI tools have made significant strides in creating lifelike voices that can convincingly convey emotion and tone, there is a need to truly find out which one is truly superior. One of the biggest challenges in text-to-speech technology is creating voices that sound natural and relatable. It's easy to spot a robotic voice, and it's even harder to create one that can convey subtle emotions like sarcasm or excitement. It will amaze you that Minimax text-to-speech AI have been working to overcome these challenges, but they're not the only ones. The entire text-to-speech industry is racing to develop voices that can mimic human-like conversation. This is especially important for applications like virtual assistants, audiobooks, and even video games, where a natural-sounding voice can make all the difference. Another crucial aspect of text-to-speech technology is emotional range. Can the AI create a voice that's not just natural but also expressive? Can it convey the same level of emotional depth as a human actor? These are the questions that we truly anticipate or wish these AI tools could answer, and their approaches couldn't be more different. But anyways, for the purpose of this tutorial, we shall be focusing on Eleven Labs and Minimax AI. Minimax AI happens to be the latest text-to-speech AI in town, and as we speak, they are currently in their better free stage. It would be wise to start using it immediately before they finally make it pro. While Eleven Labs has been focusing on using complex algorithms to analyze human speech patterns, Minimax AI has been developing a unique approach that involves using machine learning to generate voices from scratch. Minimax AI's approach is fascinating because it allows them to create voices that are not only natural but also highly customizable. They can fine-tune every aspect of the voice, from the tone and pitch to the rhythm and cadence. This level of control is unprecedented in the industry, and it's allowing Minimax AI to create voices that are truly one of a kind. On the other hand, Eleven Labs has been relying on a more traditional approach, using large datasets of human speech to train their models. This approach has its own advantages, allowing Eleven Labs to create voices that are incredibly realistic and nuanced. However, it also means that their voices are limited by the quality of the data they're working with. So how do these two approaches stack up in practice? To find out, I decided to put Minimax AI and Eleven Labs to the test in a series of challenging scenarios. I asked them to generate voices for a range of different scripts, from simple dialogue to complex narratives. The results were astonishing. So without wasting time, let us go ahead to test these two text-to-speech AI out. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'll demonstrate how to use Minimax AI to generate speech audio. First, let's navigate to Minimax AI. Once on the home page, click on the audio option. This will open a new page showcasing the interface for audio generation. Minimax AI is currently in its beta stage, but it already allows you to generate up to 10,000 characters of text-to-speech audio with the free version. Exploring the interface. The main interface is intuitive and user-friendly. At the center, you'll find the speech synthesis section, where you can paste or type in your text. Let's walk through an example. I'll use the story of Jabez. I'll copy the text from my document, paste it into the speech sentences box, and proceed. In this case, the text is about 421 characters long. Minimax AI offers several customization options to tailor the audio output. In the voice selection menu, you can choose the language, voice type, and additional settings. The default language is English, but you can select from a variety of languages, including Chinese, Japanese, and more. Minimax currently supports over seven languages in its beta stage, with plans for expansion. For this example, I'll stick with English, as it's the universal language. Emotions and adjustments. Minimax AI allows you to add emotional nuances to the voice output. Under the Emotions section, you'll find options like happy, sad, angry, fearful, disgusted, surprised, and neutral. For this demonstration, I'll choose angry to match the tone of the story. Additionally, you can modify the speed and pitch, if you want the voice to speak faster or slower, or with a higher or lower pitch, you can make these adjustments easily by dragging the respective sliders. For this tutorial, I'll leave the settings at their default values for a balanced output. Exploring Voice Library Next, let's explore the extensive voice library. Here, you can filter voices by language, accent, gender, and age. 
For instance, in English, accents include US general, British, and Indian, among others. Gender options include male and female, while age ranges include young adult, adult, middle-aged, and senior. To demonstrate, I'll select male with a deep senior voice and test a few samples. I'm delighted to assist you with our voice services. Choose a voice that resonates with you, and let's begin our creative audio journey together. Hola, es un placer ayudarte con nuestros servicios de voz. Elige el tono de voz que más te guste, y comencemos juntos esta aventura creativa. Hola, es un placer ayudarte con nuestros servicios de voz. Elige el tono de voz que más te guste y comencemos juntos esta aventura creativa. Hola, es un placer... Hola, es un placer ayudarte con nuestros servicios de... Some voices are in other languages, so I'll stick to the English options. I'll select a voice labeled as a captivating storyteller and click use to finalize my choice, generating speech. Choose a voice that resonates with you, and let's begin our creative audio journey together. Once the settings are configured, click on Generate Speech to create the audio. The process is quick, and you'll be able to listen to the generated audio immediately. The cry of a newborn pierced the stillness of the dimly lit hut, but it was not met with joy. Instead, the woman who had labored long and hard to bring the child into the world slumped back in exhaustion and anguish. Her face bore the marks of despair more than relief. The midwife swaddled the baby, placed him gently in his mother's arms, and hesitated. What will you call him? She asked, her voice soft yet uncertain. To compare, I'll now head over to Eleven Labs, another text-to-speech AI tool. I'll paste the same text into Eleven Labs, select Brian, a narrator voice with a deep American tone, and click Generate. This allows us to compare the outputs from both platforms. The cry of a newborn pierced the stillness of the dimly lit hut, but it was not met with joy. Instead, the woman who had labored long and hard to bring the child into the world slumped back in exhaustion and anguish. Her face bore the marks of despair more than relief. The midwife swaddled the baby placed him gently in his mother's arms, and hesitated. What will you call him? She asked, her voice soft yet uncertain. Female voice selection. Now let's try generating a female voice. Returning to Minimax AI, I'll select female under the gender filter, and I will leave the accent option to test the female voice out. Hello. I'm delighted to assist you with our voice services. Choose a voice that resonates with you, and let's begin our creative audio journey together. Hello. I'm delighted to assist you with our voice services. Choose a voice that resonates with you, and let's begin our creative audio journey together. Hello, I'm delighted to assist you with our voice services. Choose a voice that resonates with you, and let's begin our creative audio journey together. Hello, I'm delighted to... Hello, I'm delighted to assist you with our voice services. Choose a voice that resonates with you, and let's begin our creative audio journey together. Hello, I'm delighted to assist you with our voice services. Choose a voice that resonates with you, and let's begin our creative audio journey together. I'll then refine the settings by choosing the US general accent and testing several voices. Hello, I'm delighted to assist you with our voice services. Choose a voice that resonates Hello. 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 I'm del After selecting a voice, I'll set the emotion to happy and click generate. The cry of a newborn pierced the stillness of the dimly lit hut, but it was not met with joy. Instead, the woman who had labored long and hard to bring the child into the world slumped back in exhaustion and anguish. Similarly, in Eleven Labs, I'll choose a female voice named Charlotte, paste the text, and generate the audio. The cry of a newborn pierced the stillness of the dimly lit hut, but it was not met with joy. Instead, the woman who had labored long and hard to bring the child into the world slumped back in exhaustion and anguish. Her face bore the marks of despair more than relief. The midwife swaddled the baby, placed him gently in his mother's arms and hesitated. 
What will you call him? She asked, her voice soft yet uncertain. Comparing both platforms side by side will help determine which provides the best result. Both platforms provide high quality outputs, but there are notable differences. Minimax AI offers versatility with its video and image to audio features, alongside text to speech, making it an excellent all-in-one tool. However, Eleven Labs excels in producing lifelike voiceovers with exceptional clarity and precision. For this project, I found both tools valuable. Minimax AI for its creative versatility and Eleven Labs for its realistic voice outputs. Minimax AI is still in beta, so it's likely to improve over time. Considering Eleven Labs started similarly, Minimax AI has great potential as it develops further. Final thoughts. If you're looking for an AI tool to create text-to-speech audio or even integrate videos and images, I highly recommend starting with Minimax AI. It's currently free during the beta stage, giving you access to features like text-to-speech and image-to-video with 10,000 characters available on the free plan. Let me know your thoughts on these two AI platforms in the comments below. Which do you think is better for text-to-speech? If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments and I'll do my best to respond in my free time. Thanks for watching and happy creating.